Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at the Aquara FP2 Presence Sensor. Now, there's been lots of videos about this product, but I haven't seen anyone talking about the sleep monitoring function on this device. So let's have a look at it. So the Aquara FP2 is a 60 megahertz multi-zone, multi-person presence sensor, which can also detect falling as well as sleep quality. There are up to 30 zones that you can actually segment out and 320 cells within that room for ultimate precision. It's got a smart detection system that can actually tell between pets and humans and other devices like robot fax so it is able to check that it's actually monitoring people so i've tried lots of different sleep trackers but they normally require wearing a watch and i find it really frustrating wearing a watch at night so the idea of having this device monitoring you with nothing connected i think is amazing so this device is IPX5 rated, so it can be installed in areas like bathrooms with high humidity. The sensor offers a 120 degree field of view and it has this little adjustable mounting plate. So when you're mounting it on the ceiling for the fall detection, the 120 degree means that if you've got a 2.5 meter high ceiling, you would effectively only be covering a four or a two meter radius like this. So it is a reasonably limited area for the fall detection. So having a look at the device, it's a really nice quality feeling plastic injection molded plastic. Um, it's got the Aquara logo on the front here and we've got a multicolored RGB LED for displaying statuses. On the underside here, we have a peering button which is nice and easy to press. You don't have to worry about having a pin or something. And then we have this flexible arm that allows you to install it at different angles. On the other side here, this folds in quite nicely if you wanna have it flat up against a wall or something. And on the underside over here, we can install, it comes with two of these little magnetic metal plates. So these can be either screwed up against a wall or they can be stuck using this 3M VHB tape that comes along and then that will just sit at the back there and that will magnetically connect to any metal surface that you wanna hold it on. Uh, there's also a QR code. That's your little QR code for scanning to connect it up to HomeKit. Along with this device, we do get a two meter USB cable, but no power brick. So the zone detection on the sensor is unbelievable. As you can see, I've drawn up three zones over here. And when one person is moving, you can clearly see when they move from one zone to the second zone. And then we can see once a second person comes in, you can see the movement of that person between the zones. I'm literally blown away at the accuracy of this device. So having a look at the integration in Home Assistant, you can see the moment that I move into range, we get the overall detection and then the zone detection comes in over here. And then as I move from one zone to the next, it clearly moves into the next zone and we can trigger whatever automations we want. Now, this only tells us that it is triggered. It doesn't show multi-zones in as in how many people are in each zone, but this zonal detection is just fantastic. So I'm connecting this device through my Apple Home Hub Mini and through the integration into Home Assistant. So if I want to change the zones, I can easily go into the zone management section and I can go here and I can just touch on any of these zones and I can then move them around, change them, add additional zones it's just really really easy now if we go into the settings of the device over here we can then select what our detection mode is now one of the things just to show you before we move on is this ai learning so this is really cool you can put it into ai learning mode and it will effectively start detecting different objects and then you can allow it to detect specifically humans and not get triggered by things like robot vacuums, 
Peggy the Cat or anything like that, which is a pretty cool feature. Now, if we go into detection mode, as we were talking earlier, we're currently in the zone detection. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the sleep monitoring, because this is what I'm really excited to show you. So as you can see at the moment, it says it's free and it's limited. So this is a new function I think that they've added and currently it's allowed as a free option. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go install. So what this is gonna do now, it's going to switch away from the zone. It is in a trial mode, it's telling us, and it will now reprogram the device into the sleep monitoring mode, and then we're gonna see what this will do. There we go, now it tells us it needs to be between 0.8 and one meters above the sleeping position. Now it can only monitor one person in the bed at a time, so if there's two of you, you effectively would need two of these. So we'll go to step two, we've completed the installation, now we go next step, it just asks us to fill out the bed size. So I'm going to select my bed size and I'm going to go next step. All right, select a location closer to the device. So my one is going to be on this side of the bed over here. And there we go, it's reconfigured the device into the sleep mode and we can go start. So if I now lie on the bed and I go into the live monitoring mode, you can see that it pretty quickly starts picking up my heartbeat and my respiratory rate. So this is just unbelievable that this device is basically reading me about a meter away and it knows exactly what my heart rate and my respiratory rate is. And based off this, over the night time, it will effectively monitor your sleep and it will give you a report at the end of the night on exactly, and I'll show you now what my report looks like from last night. So at the end of the night, this is what the sleep analysis looks like. So you can clearly see we've got these light bluish green areas which are showing light sleep. Then you can see over here, I went into a deep sleep period for a while. Then it looks like I woke up, I might have just got up, had a drink of water or something, and I immediately went back into a light sleep. Isn't that amazing? I am just blown away by the sensor and I'll be using this for ages to actually monitor and see what's going on with my sleep. I think this is one of the best uses of the 60 megahertz millimeter wave. Well, I can honestly say I've had a huge amount of fun testing out this presence sensor and the sleep sensing for me is one of the best features that I've ever found on a device that I don't have to have this watch attached to me all night and bothering me from sleeping. So let me know what your thoughts are about this device in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you are enjoying this content, please like and subscribe so that you can share this product or this channel with more people out there. Bye for now.